Karina Chin with KarinaStamps.com and I want to welcome you today to my video. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope everybody has really, really fun plans for this evening. Um, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I just love sharing paper crafting. So if you love uh, sharing paper crafting, I hope I will give you a couple fun ideas today on how to do some really easy watercoloring. They're not super hard techniques, but if you've kind of wondered how Stampin' Up! designers sometimes get these great great coloring techniques or images uh, from their set um, hopefully you'll learn a few things now if you're here for the first time make sure you jump in say hi where you're from i'd love to know where you're from if you're watching on youtube you can hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell and then that way it will tell you when i'm going live again and i usually talk for a little bit just to let people jump on and find me so let's just see who's here i'm also doing this on facebook so Oh, yay, Kathy and Joy are here. Hello, I know it's working. Yay. Okay, fantastic. So something new I'm trying is I'm trying to get more people to share my channel. I've been doing this since 2012. That is a long time. And I'm in Edmonton, Alberta. So whenever you share this video and you have to comment that you've shared the post, I'll put your name into a draw. Now this week... It was for an assortment of in color, I think it's two yards each of the in colors ribbon. These colors are retiring. So my tip right now is we're getting a new catalog coming out in April. I think we can do a pre-order in March, which means these are going to sell out super fast, any of these colors. So not necessarily the ribbon, but if you need paper for pale papaya, polished pink, evening evergreen, soft succulent, or fresh freesia, you got to make sure you order the ink, your ink refills, and your paper now, especially while celebrations on, because it's only while supplies last. Once they sell out of things, um, it just becomes unorderable. So that's kind of my tip of the day, and I just thought I would give everybody some ribbon. I'm going to be really sad when these are gone. I think this is my favorite in color combination so if you're wondering whoa what is she talking about in color so every year stampin up comes out with five new colors and they keep them around for five years and i always buy them because they coordinate with all the designer series paper and that's how i design all my cards i look at the designer series paper first see what colors match and then i know my cards look pretty right everything matches stampin up is very matchy matchy and i think that's one of the benefits that they have let's see who else is here so Bilkis is here too. Hello, Bilkis. So make sure, like I said, after this video or while you're watching this video, you can share the video after you're done and your name will go into the draw. Now next week, so I'll draw today at the end for this one, but next week I'm actually going to draw for an In the Country stamp set because I made some pretty cute cards with it. I think you might want this after I'm done. Either that or you don't like my cards and you don't like it at all. Then you don't have to share. But I'm just kidding. Hopefully I will inspire you to love the stamp set. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. Oh yeah, I always forget. If you end up wanting to order, you can go to karinachen.stampinup.net. My YouTube is my old name, which was Karina's Creations, all small cap. The hostess code right now is RKU yqvtn so if you wanted to order anything that's where you would go and i've got a few tips right now so we have coming up uh there's a new paper pumpkin so paper pumpkins come in a fabulous box like this and it comes with a stamp set it comes with an ink and it usually has enough to make nine cards or nine 3D projects. It has a stamp set, a block. It's an all-inclusive kit. Everything you need is in this box to make the project. And next month, it's the 10th year anniversary for Paper Pumpkin, which means that they are giving you an extra stamp set. So you get two stamp sets. And it says that you get pieces to make a plant box. I don't know. I don't know what that means. No clue. You guys can guess what a plant box is. Anyway, I thought it would be super fun. And two, if you get, you know, a three month subscription, you can actually put that in your order. There's a code for three months, then you get celebration benefits as well on it. So that's super fun as well. And I don't know, I think we might need a class on this. I'll see how many people order this. If I have more than five people ordering the 
I guess it would be the March Paper Pumpkin Box before March 10th, but do it by February 28th so you get your celebration item. Then I'll do a class and we can all put our boxes together. So this isn't what it looks like. It's a pretty box, but you know, this is my old one. I got to open mine. I got to have a paper pumpkin party so I can use my paper pumpkins. I'm not the best at using them for sure. Okay, let me see if anybody has any questions before I start. So that was Paper Pumpkin. I think we're good. Oh, Belkis, you shared. Thank you, Belkis. Okay, and then also on March the 21st, I have a virtual Taco Fiesta class coming. So I have a friend who's hosting an in-person one, but if you need virtual or live out of town, I ship anywhere in Canada. So we just go on Zoom and we put our card kits together. And then if you're part of my crafting crew team, this is going to be the card kit this month. So I make up these card kits for everyone. Well, actually, I had help this month. I didn't do this one. But um, and then we, what we do is we go online and we craft together. And you don't have to get the kits. I give you the PDF tutorial so that you can order the supplies to stamp along with us and cut your own kits or just use whatever stamp sets you already have. But I think this one will be super fun next month and it uses the memories and more cards that Stampin' Up! has. So if you're interested in joining our team, the demonstrator kit, I call it demonstrator kit, but really it's just a kit where you pay $135, you get $225 in product and you place your own orders through Stampin' Up! You don't have to demonstrate, you don't have to do classes, you do have to be a happy shopper and save 20% on your purchases. That's what you, that's what it basically is. And then you can stamp with us once a month on Crafting Crew Stamp Night. And if you're watching and you've never been to Crafting Crew or you just want to join us, we have guests. So yes, guests can come and you're welcome to join us. Uh, you have to cut your own kit though, because I've got these done already. And apparently it took 10 hours to cut them this month. So that's a lot of cutting. Anyway, I think you've heard enough from me. Let's start stamping. Is there anything else I needed to go over? I don't think so. Taco Fiesta class. Oh, yeah. And if you guys order, place a $60 order and you haven't done so yet, on the February 24th, I believe, is my um, Adorable Owls class. And that's a free class I'm doing for my customers. And that's pretty good. All you had to do was order $60. And I will ship that out to you. So I've got to get those cut right away. Because I've got lots of people out of town this time. Which is exciting. And we're just going to go on Zoom and stamp together. So that means you have to have the Adorable Owl stamp set. If you want to make the cards. Um, the way it is. And it's in here. So anything in this book. It's called Celebration. Whenever you play $60 order. You get something for free. There's the adorable owls. Right? Adorable. Right? I know. And then Stampin' Up! has also come out with. Let's just go down here. More Celebration items. So I really like this Enjoy the Journey. Designer Series Paper. The cloud embossing folder is kind of cool. The song builder punch is super cute, but you kind of need the stamp set, I think, to go with it. And if you're wondering where all this stuff is, you can join my Karina's Creations Facebook group or sign up for my newsletter and I email all the details out. I usually email once a week. I was tardy last week and didn't email. I don't know what happened. So I'm going to get on that and fix that trend because that's not good. Everyone's probably wondering what happened to me but it was my daughter's birthday well it's actually on the 18th but we had a party for her this weekend so it was kind of her birthday weekend so you know we had a family party and we went to the dog park twice because I walk my little dog Otto he's sleeping right now but I'm sure you'll hear him and it'll probably be deafening he's a mini schnauzer puppy a little crazy but I love him and uh yeah so it was just a busy busy weekend Okay, so are you guys ready to get started? So this is what we are doing today. Um, I thought I would feature this brand new stamp set because it's free with the $60 order. And I love coloring, but I'm a lazy color. Colorer. Is that a word? I'm, I, I don't like to spend a lot of time doing it. So I thought, what's a great way to show you guys how to color some images to make super cute cards? I'm going to show you two techniques and I'll show you a third. That's pretty quick and easy. 
So that's what I decided to do today. Okay, so step one, let's make this card. And all the designer series papers, well, except for this one, it's free with a celebration order. Can anyone guess which paper pack this is from? Okay, do I have guesses? Do I have guesses? Let's see. It is from the At The Farm bundle. Is that what it's called? Oh, Day At The Farm. It's from Day of the Farm stamp set. So it has these great farm images. And then on the other side, it's got some flowers. It's got, there's the pattern that I used on my card. Right? It's got some rolling hills. It's got some plaid. It's got a whole bunch. Oh, it's got vegetables in it. It's got a whole bunch of really fun things. And before I start, let me just show you the cards that I got because I get so distracted once I start stamping, you guys. I just can't uh, focus on anything else. I just love stamping that much. Okay, let me just show you these first of all. So what do you think of this cool card? This is what we're making at my Monday night card class. So my Monday night card class is a club. We stamp once a month. It runs for six months and it's a $35 order and you get to be the hostess once during that uh once during the six months and we stamp monday on the third monday of the month and this is using a celebration stamp set that's a level two free with a 120 dollar order and same with the paper it's a giant paper pack that's also celebration but isn't that fun so we always do you know probably two fancy folds and then two nice cards i would say and then these are some cards that i got from friends so this is from lorna Oh my gosh, who loves this paper? So I think I might have to work with this. And I don't have this vellum. Now I need the vellum. Look at that vellum. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. So this is a swap I got from her. And it is using the, I don't even know, the flower. It's got a punch. Anybody help me out with that? Oh, I'm so bad at names. The bundle. I think it's Regency Park, right? How would how am I supposed to remember that? Regency Park, that's a tricky name. Anyway, the paper is beautiful. And this is the same, this is where I got the paper for this card today. It's also Regency Park. I just thought I would choose the, the sweet sorbet paper. So, and I love, I love it because it has, oh, it's like a super sweet. It's got a stamp set and die, and then it's got a punch and flowers. So the super sweet is 191.25. So of course it's celebration right now. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal. Okay, and then I got these two cards. I don't even know who they're from, but this uses I think it's called on the farm bundle. But isn't that beautiful? Look at that happy little, that happy little card. We got a happy little cow. And then I also got this one. So whoever sent me this, thank you. It looks like they added some color to the designer series paper. There's that on the farm paper again. Oh, there's the vegetables. Does anybody else peel their cards back to figure out how they're made? Okay, that's so bad. I didn't do that, right? You didn't see me do that. Okay, anyway, there's no one quite like you. Thanks a bunch. So this is also a celebration set for free called Thanks a Bunch. So only two weeks left, you guys, of celebration. And then this was a Valentine's card I got from my friend Inez. And look at she sent me a little magnet. Isn't that sweet? Thank you, Inez. I love it. And then this was a swap that I got from Nez. So she used this milkshake stamp set. What is it? Share a milkshake, something like that. It's a bundle, and I had to I had to get it. So I ended up ordering this. I ended up ordering the stamp set and dies because I just think it's so cool. I'm getting all these cool ice cream cards. So now I have to have an ice cream class. Don't ask me what the date is. It's sometime in April. Share a milkshake bundle. Like, oh my gosh, it's just so cute. And I was up at four in the morning painting cards, painting cards based on this set. Terrible. I was just so excited about it. Okay, and then this card I made for my daughter today using the so, uh, what's it called? love for you stamp set and dies which i'll talk about in a minute so we'll just tuck that here these were the cards i made last week so i showed you how to make this one you can go to my youtube channel click on live videos not regular videos but live and that's where all the good videos are right now 
And then this was another card I made. But isn't this just beautiful, this sweet? This is another good one. I kind of wish the mini catalog went on for another three months because I've just got so many cards I could share. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, and this must be an extra piece of paper. Oh, yeah. Look at the chicken wire. I don't know. That would look kind of cool on here, too. Okay, let's get stamping, you guys. So, step one, let's start with this with this image here. Now, the first thing you need to do is get out your embossing toolkit. Now, this is just something I bought a while ago, but it fits it perfectly, doesn't it? So fun. Stampin' Up! does not sell that. But they do sell a tray and tweezers and an embossing buddy and a brush and it's called the embossing toolkit somewhere in the annual catalog my guess is around forty dollars i'm not a hundred percent sure how much it is but we need this guy and then you also need some black embossing powder so our embossing powders come in i think it's a three pack it might be black white and clear and then there's a metallics pack and again, I'm guessing. So here's my clear powder. I just put it in Ziplocs because for the longest time I didn't have a tray. And now that I've got them in there, it's just easier to keep it that way. Okay, so let's do this image. Now the next thing you want to do, so you need your embossing tool kit. You need some black embossing powder. You need a Versamark ink pad. Mine says pink tinge. I don't know, I did some kind of a technique with it. So now everything's a little pink but I'm still using it. And then you need to buy some shimmery white cardstock. So we have it at the back of the annual catalog. I'll try to remember to put the number in the comments after if anybody wants it. It's really great for watercoloring because it's a little bit thicker than our basic white cardstock. So you can do a lot more fun techniques with it. And I've got one for this card and then one for my other card. And then I just cut it down a little bit. Okay, so step one, this is the most important part, I think, of the card, is we're going to take our anti-static pillow. We're just going to brush it along. And what it does is it removes the static from your card, which is huge. And then we're going to take, what did I do? The country road. Let's take the country road. And I won't put the full card together. I'm just going to show you color, how to color it, because you can see it there, right? Okay, so we're going to take our Versamark, which is a sticky ink, and I love that Stampin' Up! sells the refills. Now, don't hold me to that. I haven't checked to see if it's in stock. I find every time I go to buy an ink or an ink refill, they're out of stock, but I didn't see Versamark on there when I looked. And let's go like this. So I'm wasting paper, but uh, I don't know. I cut it down and thought it looked so cute on this card, right? Okay, so you can see, maybe you can't see the image. Hopefully you can see the image. So let's pull my tray over here. I'm going to grab my tweezers. And, oh, I might need a spoon. Do I have a spoon? I don't think so. Hold on. We'll go to my spoons. I always have them close at hand. Or close by. Okay, ready? Ready? Let's go like this. This stuff is really fine. And I'm going to try to put most of it back in here. Okay, and then we'll tip it over and we'll just go tap, tap, tap. See, there's barely any residue. It kind of stuck to the sticky ink, so I think I'm good to go. I'm just going to put this here and then we'll emboss it really fast. So the other thing you need is a heat tool. You, I like to turn it on and warm it up. It's got two settings, high and low. Let's get my tweezers so I don't burn my paper. And then you just hold it in one spot until you see it start to melt. There it goes. I kind of hold it at an angle. It's easier to see. So the powder just turns into a solid. We're melting the powder on the cardstock and be careful because you can burn your cardstock and you can burn your fingers so be very careful okay does that look like it's done i think so if not i've got more paper i'll do it again later 
Okay, so what I did was, let's move this black out of the way. Let's move this out of the way. Then you're going to get yourself a little pot of water. Or uh, we sell water painters and see how it's got, so it goes the opposite way. You can actually fill this chamber with water. And then when you squeeze it, it releases a little bit of water like that and then you can watercolor with it but honestly I just find I put it in my little cappuccino cup and I am good to go okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm coloring I'm using garden green ink hair pizzazz and crumb cake now there's two ways you can do this you can squeeze your ink pad which can be a bit tricky and it should leave a pool of ink on the top oh it did or the easier method is you just get a block, a little block, and you just touch it to the corner of your ink pad and then see you have ink that you can pull. Okay, now I think I did pear pizzazz. I don't know if I did pear pizzazz now or garden green. Looks like pear pizzazz. So all I'm doing is just kind of pouncing it onto my grass area and I'm leaving a bit of white spot because I can white spaces because I can go in later and make it even prettier okay I need a bit more let's just get a bit more here uh, I think I want to do the center of the road and we'll just go like that okay I think that's pretty good right now now let's get the next color this one I think I will just kind of pounce the ink on here get some ink pull it over here and then we're just going to color the trees so this is kind of the quick quick scribble method right I'm not exact I'm just sort of adding a bit of color and then I think I'll just add a few highlights down here at the bottom of the road and what do you think is that it it's got some of these kind of dashy marks I think it's just more grass so I'll just add a bit of highlight there okay I think I'm done isn't that quick and then for my road I used rum cake ink so normally I would have a tissue here and I would just wipe this off but that's okay I'll be careful I'll be careful Ooh, let's just go like this and then we'll just go this way and we'll just add some crumb cake Ooh, that's not very dark Didn't really want to put water on my ink pad, but that's okay. It will work. But can you see how this, how easy it is? And what happens by embossing it? It, it keeps your ink kind of in channels. It's almost like paint by, well, it's not by paint by numbers, but it keeps everything kind of in a channel so your ink doesn't bleed all over the place. So I don't have my browns bleeding into my green color. And that is it. And then you just cut it down. And then you add it to the garden green cardstock. I use some designer series paper, but I think the coolest thing with this card is the for you dies because everybody's got to buy this stamp set and dies. Just saying it's got, Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this stamp set and dies. It's got all these little scripty fonts that says for you, or I can actually stamp this and then these little scripty words will fit right on top of the stamped image. So I'll have to post some more pictures for this or go to Pinterest and just Google love for you and you'll see tons of cards done with it. But I haven't even scratched the surface with these yet. It's the first time playing yesterday. And then what you should do is you need to go and buy or I highly recommend that you go and buy the adhesive sheets see how it's got a line you just peel this back you peel it off and then you attach it to crumb cake cardstock and it turns it into a sticker I don't know where my sticker is now but anyway that's what I did I just put it down here put my word uh, die cut my word and then I peeled and stuck it off and I don't have to get gluey fingers it works really well and I mean, it's not on there permanently. I could see it. you can still pull it off, but I don't want to do that. Doesn't that look pretty? So that's my first card. So water coloring with basic black embossing powder. Step one.
or card one. Okay, let's do this one now because I love this one. Okay, so we are doing... Oh, I should have done this one first. I'll have to clean it. That's okay. That's okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're taking Versamark ink. We're going over this again. Don't press too hard because you don't want to catch the edge, right? Oh, I can see I caught the edge a bit. Now, see how it's sticky? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm dipping this right into Cherry Cobbler ink. Yes, I am. Cherry Cobbler ink. Here we come. Hello, Otto. He's like, Mom, who are you talking to? Oh, I did the wrong image. Hold on. Let's do this one. I guess I could do the country lane, but I don't know. The country lane doesn't really go with this card. Okay, let's hope I put enough on here. So I'm taking my Versamark ink first, then my Cherry Cobbler ink, and then I'm stamping on my shimmery white cardstock. Ta-da! And I use my embossing buddy first, right? You guys saw that? Okay, I didn't. I totally forgot, but we'll see how it works. You really should use the buddy. The buddy is your friend. And then let's just go like this, because otherwise you get all these crystals in places you don't want. Okay, you know what? It worked, but yeah, I can feel some crystals, but it's okay. For the purpose of this video, it will be just fine. And then what we're going to do is we're going to heat it up again with the heat tool. And then I'll show you another way to color. So I'll go like this. And just hold it up here. Otto, don't eat the cord, please. Thank you. We'll have an electrocuted puppy for Valentine's Day. That would be so bad. So bad. Oh, there. He's being good. I'd try to pick him up, but it's too difficult right now. Okay, can you see all the powders melting? Isn't this just magical? Okay, almost done. Did I get it all? Can't really see. I think so. If not, I'll just do it again later. You can never mess up a card, you guys. It's just, you know, being creative. The other thing is this paper doesn't warp that much either. Okay, now what I did for this one is I made myself a color palette. Can you see my color palette? And I thought this time I'm going to color with watercolor pencils. So if you're new and you don't have a lot of ink pads for colors, watercolor pencils are only, are they 20 around $24, $26. I can't remember the exact price. But uh, what I do is I just took a scrap of shimmery white paper. It doesn't really matter what you're using. Shimmery white's a bit thicker. And I'll show you what I did. So I used early espresso for the darker shaded areas of my stairs. So I'm just going to scribble some there and then I think I took Calypso Coral here and I did some real red here looks more like poppy parade to me and then it looks like I did some old olive and you can color directly on here but because it's embossed I didn't want to and then it looks like I did some Bermuda Bay for the door and then a bit of yellow for my flowers. Ooh, almost out. I need a pencil sharpener. Okay, there is my color palette. So now I'm taking that same brush. And we're just going to color with it. So let's start first of all with our early espresso ink. Or ink, our uh, pencil. And I'm just going to go like this. And I'm just kind of pouncing it on. The darker areas I'll just kind of go up the stairs and it does resist um, it resists the ink a little bit the embossed areas so I just thought this was kind of fun fun and easy let's get the ground and let's go like this okay and I think that's it no let's get this here along the side let's get the door gem Okay, now what I did next was get some, take your water, dab, dab, dab. It helps if you have some Kleenex, you can dab it in, or paper towel. And then I'm just going to finish coloring this in. 
See, it's just fast. This is supposed to be fast water coloring. And then once it dries, you can go back in and add some more color if you want, right? Once it's dry. But like I said, this is fast. I could make 20 cards like this lickety split. Really easy. Okay, now I'm going to leave this for my greenery. I think I'm done with my red. Now we're going to go in and let's do some yellow flowers. Because once I put my green in, I think that's done. Okay, and then it looks like I have a pot. So let's color my little pot. I do. I have a planter here. I have a planter here. And I have a blue door. Why? Because I want a blue door. Isn't this fun though? See, I'm almost done, guys. I'm almost done. This is like super fast water coloring. And then we'll just let that dry. You can you can set it with a heat tool if you want. And you can be messy with this, right? Messy, it's fun, it's fast. Who's going to try this? Let me know if you're going to try this after. Okay, I probably went a little too much. See, I can just wash it away with my fingers. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, and I think that's it. I like that. Okay, and then you can cut down your image. So I'll hold this up. Cut down your image. I cut it with the stitched rectangle die. Oh, my lighting's not very good. My stitched rectangle die. And then I stamped the friend from the Love For You stamp set. So you get friend, you get thanks for all you do, happy Valentine's Day, happy anniversary, congratulations. Nobody gets me like you get me like isn't that just nice i just think this is a great stamp set i can't believe i haven't played with it before now okay so that's card number two and then i put these really great i'm almost out of these adhesive back milky dots they got a bit of a pink tinge kind of a vanilla tinge a yellow tinge and then a kind of a knight of navy color so they're really pretty as well okay and then for my last way to color this this is really fun. We're not doing any water coloring. We're going to color with our blends. Okay, let's see if anybody has any questions. Have I put everybody to sleep? Hello, Kim. How are you? Hello, Leona. Do you have to use watercolor paper? So, Leona, you can use watercolor paper, but I'm kind of cheap. It's super expensive. So, this is shimmery white cardstock that we sell it's in the back of the catalog so it's not basic white but shimmery white it comes in you get a few less sheets but i love it for water coloring and it saves you money saves you money okay so that is my card there and now we're going to take i should have a circle now this is actually basic white cardstock now because i'm just going to stamp it in sahara sand ink Okay, and I have to clean this because now there's cherry cobbler on it. And I really don't want to put that in my Sahara Sand ink pad because that will ruin it. I can clean it, but really, why would I want to do that? Let's just take our Simply Chamois. Everybody needs a chamois. I cut mine in four and mine's black. It should be a nice light purple. So I think it's time for me to treat myself to a Simply Chamois. And all I'm going to do is just quickly stamp this in Sahara Sand Ink. You want a lighter color ink. And let's just put this on here because it's going to... Oh, I did this one again. That is just too funny. You know what, guys? Let's do this one then. Why not? Although I can't really put purple on it. Can I? Can I have purple flowers? You know what? I am going to do purple flowers. Why not? Okay, so with this one, I stamped it using crumb cake. Um, it's got some Wink of Stella. I use soft sea foam and a little bit of fresh freesia. So what we're going to do, same thing. Let's get some light. Yeah, we'll change it up. Let's get some light soft sea foam. I wanted a softer look to the trees. Can you see how I'm just scribbling? That's what I love about these, you know, kind of backgrounds, right? They're just like so easy. You just want to apply a bit of color. 
I was going to put a cow from the farm set, you know, having some grass, but I didn't. Okay, let's just go. I think this is the track here. Okay, done. Now we do this one. We'll just add a bit more color to the darker part of the tree. Otto, what are you eating? Otto, he's eating, oh my goodness, he's eating my beautiful tassels from my little love container. We can't have that. You know, a little puppy slobber on there for Valentine's Day. Why not? Thank you, Otto. Yes, you're super cute. Okay, what do you think? Done. Bam. Now, I need some purple in here, though. Where am I going to put the purple? Because everything else is purple. Can we have a purple road? Yes, I'm doing a purple road. I am. I'm going for it. Because in my world, roads are purple. Okay, there we go. ta -dum. You know what? I don't know what that looks like, but it's good to go. Okay, now the other thing I wanted to show you is everybody needs a wink of Stella. So when you get this, it has a black ring around your wink of Stella. You take that off, and then where it says push, you push it, and it releases a nice little shiny solution. And then you can just color with it. And it adds just a little nice little shine to your project. Like that. I don't know if you can see it. I might need more Wink of Stella. But see, you can see it on here. Let's see. Oh, I hear more eating, you guys. Oh, there it comes. Okay. Let's do my road. Is this instead of the yellow brick road, we have the purple road? The purple road going to a nice stamping adventure okay and then i'll put this card together really quick now i have already stamped thanks for all you do and i've got this nice little heart now i'm not using this image because i made the door red it looks like there was a very bad thing that happened in my image so i think i might fix that you know how i say you can never goof it up well i think that was a bit of a goof so i don't know i don't love that Okay, we'll just throw this together super fast and then those will be my three cards so while i'm finishing this card you guys can let me know which card did you like better today and let's see or which technique did you like did you like the black embossing did you like stamping with versamark and cherry cobbler ink or do you like using the stamping blends with the sahara sand image so isn't this nice though like look at how fun this is this is how you make like super fast cards i don't know i don't think i want to add that white i think i'm just gonna go like this let's cut this down oh i hear rustling what do you think he's eating any guesses what he's eating you guys if you were a year he's almost a year old it's a it'll be his birthday i think on february 26th and luckily i've got um my brother's dogs here as well monty and benji so we're gonna be able to have a dog birthday party isn't that fun okay maybe you guys are thinking oh my gosh this woman is crazy but i really do love my little dog i have to say okay let's put this here and then we're going to put this right here. And then we're going to stick a heart right here. See, isn't that cute? Okay, so let's go like this. Dum. There we go. And then we'll put the little heart here. Thanks for all you do. See how easy it is to make cards, you guys? Anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. Okay, and then remember how I said I had these dots? So look, there's even one that has like a little purple tinge in it. These are great. I love these. And if you were part of my celebration extravaganza, all the orders went in on Sunday. So hopefully Stampin' Up! has shipped them. Okay, and I think, ooh, that yellow one does not belong. And then let's put another one like right about here maybe. Okay, there we go. So these are my three cards today. So we have this one here that is watercoloring with 
they're not watercoloring. It's using Stamping Blends and Sahara Sand ink. And then we made this one, which is Versamark ink. And then you dip it into Cherry Cobbler ink and then you stamp it. And this is great because you can actually turn, well, any ink pad into basically colored embossing powder. You never have to buy colored embossing powder again. That's why that is so fantastic. And then the very last card we made was stamping with black embossing powder. And that's the completed card. So put in the comments which one you like. And now I'm going to get ready. And Otto, what are you doing? Oh, that sounds, can anybody hear that munching going on? I'm kind of scared to look. We will see. Okay, so let's do the draw now for the ribbon. So the people who commented, and you have to say shared in order to be entered into the draw. So I have Joanne C, Betty Gale, Margaret Ann, Joy Inez, and Ann C. And this was for last week's video. So the winner is... Joy, congratulations. There you go. And you can be entered into the draw if you are watching the replay as well. Replays count as well. And then next week, I'm going to be drawing for the In the Country stamp set. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope you will try some of these techniques because they're really fun. Stampin' Up! has a lot of different um, fun images that you can color. Kind of back, not background, I guess they're more scenic images that you can color. And I hope you will give it a try. And if you like, share my video. I'll enter your name into the draw because it really does help me out. And I want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. So I'll just go through here. You love all the cards, Kathy. Wonderful. That makes me so happy. Margaret Ann is here. Hello, Margaret Ann. Thank you for sharing. Okay, I'll go through next week before I do the live. And I take a look at everybody who shared and I put it into the draw. So that's fantastic. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, Otto. Yes, we're not sure what Otto's going to have. I have a feeling I've got some doggy cookies saved for his birthday, so maybe he'll be allowed to have one today. Because paper crafting products should not be eaten by dogs. I'm sure you would agree with me. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day, and, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.